Hello my beautiful Aries and welcome to your love reading. So today we're going to be concentrating on how your person of interest is feeling about you, what they want to say to you that they're currently not saying and how they're thinking about you. We're also going to get some additional messages at the end. We will be doing this using um, the Oracle and then we'll be clarifying with the tarot, okay? Thank you all so much for those of you who have supported the channel, who've liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really do appreciate you. Um, for anything else, if you'd like to book a reading um, or for anything else, everything is in the description box below, okay? Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you gotta do, and leave the rest, okay? So, this is for my beautiful Aries. So the overall energy of how this person is feeling about you is you make me feel so alive. And at the bottom of the deck, we have pick up the damn phone. I just want to talk to you, okay? So I'm getting that somebody, um, you know, you give someone energy with your conversation. So there's something that you talk about that somebody just really likes. Like every time someone speaks to you, they just kind of feel elevated and just motivated and passionate, okay? So somebody's feeling for your passion, okay? Now with the pick up the damn phone, I just want to talk to you. Somebody may feel like you, they can't get in touch with you. Maybe you block someone or you're not speaking to this person anymore or someone is figuring out how they can talk to you, but someone can't get enough of your conversation. Like someone wants to talk to you basically, okay? Yeah, underneath that, it does say, I never forgot about you. I still think of you the way you make me feel. What about you? Did you move on? Did you meet someone else? And I love you so fucking much. Okay, so yeah, this could be someone who you're not in separation with. This keeps coming up a lot. Is Venus in retrograde? Something's happening with the planets where this... There's a lot of past energy coming up, but somebody wants to speak to you. So maybe someone is trying to reach out to you and you're just ignoring them because you don't want to speak to them. Or for others of you, someone just, um, they just want to talk to you and they're just trying to figure out how can I speak to Aries, okay? Again, this could be how you're feeling. So let's go more into their thought, into their feeling, shall we? So how's this person feeling about you? So yeah, it says reunion that wanted to come out. So somebody definitely wants to reconcile, okay? That's what I'm getting and dreams so this person could be thinking about you a lot fantasizing daydreaming you could actually be dreaming of this person as well that is an indication that they want to be with you okay we have memories which is in their thoughts so they're thinking about you they're very nostalgic they could actually be looking at pictures as well but this person is very reminiscent they're just reminiscing about the good times the bad the ugly but they want to they had a lot of memories with you okay they cherish those memories and they want to come back that's how they're feeling yeah tender touch every time i see this card i always think about someone wanting to reach out like touch base so what do they want to say to you that they're currently not saying okay so child and then we have focus is at the bottom of the deck so whenever i see this card it represents new love a child innocence like whatever but whenever i see this card i always think about childish so somebody may want to explain to you that they were acting childish or that they have grown up or they have um how can i say they have healed or connected with their inner child. For some of you, you may have a child with this person as well. And they may want to talk to you about the, the children or your child as a means to kind of get back with you. So this could be like a family reunion. Like maybe there's like a family ce celebration or get, get together that's going on. And this person, like, you know, they may want to um, touch base or reach out with you, but they will use the child as like a pawn or an excuse. Not that they don't care about their kid, but, you know, they want that they know that that's the only way that they can speak to you basically if it's about the kids okay this also could be somebody who wants to talk about having a child with you okay they also may want to um, claim their innocence when it comes to something as well but something to do with children here or a childlike nature is what they want to express to you now with the focus card this person wants to let you know that they are focused on you okay they're also very much attracted to you like sexually but they do want a commitment underneath that and then we have family so yeah but let's just see where this is going so this is for my beautiful aries so how is this person feeling about you okay well i'm just thinking should i take these two yeah well these flew out together so why not okay so we have the secret admirer that wanted to come out first it says curiosity spying and hidden feelings along with um the celebration which says happiness relationship milestone and surprises yeah so that's why i was getting something about you know like a celebration i'm getting like surprise so somebody may want to like surprise you or come out of nowhere or like i said there could be like a family gathering or something that's happening and this you know your ex turns up and you're just not expecting to see them okay uh, or you may be very surprised to hear that this person has hidden feelings for you 
okay so i feel like someone wants to call you out of nowhere is what i'm getting Okay, but with the celebration, I always get reconciliation with that. So, yeah, someone definitely wants to reconcile with you. You could be online as well. They could be watching you online. They're in your audience. They're, they, um, they're very proud of something that it is that you're doing. You may have reached some kind of milestone or something like that. But somebody with the relationship milestone, somebody wants to... um. They want to create memories with you so that you can have those milestones, like you can have anniversaries and things like that. Maybe somebody's going back to the first time that they ever spoke to you. We have the Mr. and Mrs. at the bottom of the deck, which says commitment, life, partner and promises. So, yeah, this is what this person wants. This is how they're feeling. They're feeling like they want to make you their wife or they want to be committed to you. OK, so what is in their thoughts? We have the truth. It says facts, confessions and no BS. So somebody... um is thinking about something that they want to say, okay? Um, someone is thinking about something that they want to say to you. They want to confess their feelings and their emotions because we do have um, hidden feelings, okay? So this is what this person wants to say. They want to confess about something. They want to confess and say, listen, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm still thinking about you. There's a lot of things that I want to discuss from the past, okay? They also may be thinking that there's something that you said to them. Maybe you were trying to tell them the truth about something and they're kind of like gaining clarity about that. But I feel like someone wants to give you some kind of clarity. At the bottom of the deck, we have the symphony, which says love songs, feelings and sensitivity. So this person could be um, listening to a lot of love songs and, you know, being reminded of you. Or maybe you're hearing love songs and when you hear them, you think about this person. Okay, so what do they want to say to you? Okay. Oh, it says the love letter. It says love notes, poet expression and messages. Yeah. So somebody wants to, you know, they want to express something to you. Okay. This person may actually want to write you a love note or a love letter, but they want to express their emotions. So they have to tap into their inner child in order to do this. Maybe they feel a bit childish doing that as well. They feel like, you know, that's kind of goofy, but it's not. It's really beautiful. Okay. Oh, okay. So they want to be vulnerable, okay? Because, you know, when you think about a child, they're vulnerable, um, you know, dependents. They're like, you know, little children that we have to protect, look after and, you know, safeguard. So this is what I'm getting. I feel like this person wants to be vulnerable with you, okay? Because, you know, children are very honest. They just say how they feel. So this is what this person wants to do, okay? Or this is what they want to say. And then we have the psychic connection at the bottom of the deck, which reads telepathy, astro travel, and signs and synchronicities. Yeah, so I feel like you have... um. You've been seeing a lot of symbols, synchronicities when it comes to this person, okay? But I feel like you have a telepathic connection with this person. So even if, no, they're not saying anything to you. It's almost like someone is thinking about you and they're trying to send you a message saying, pick up the phone, just pick up the phone or call me, call me, text me, text me, message me, message me. And you get this sudden urge, or maybe you feel like you hear it, you get this sudden urge to want to contact them, but you're just like, you know, but either way... You make this person feel really alive and they want to reconcile with you, okay? They have a lot of beautiful memories with you. So maybe this person is like, um, you know, came across an old photo or an old love note or something like that and it's just bringing everything back. So how is this person feeling about you, okay? This is for my beautiful Aries. You could be dealing with your opposite sign. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Six of one, six of passion. Um, but the seven of passion is at the bottom of the deck, the seven of one. So double Leo and all triple Leo energy with the strength here. So I feel like you're really holding back or someone, that's how someone feels about you, but they want your attention. They feel very proud of you. So that's why I was getting, somebody could be in your audience. They're watching you. They're following you online and they're proud of you. They're proud of something that it is that you're doing. I feel like they're very attracted to you. They, they feel like you're someone that they want to show off. So it's almost like, you know, somebody will be happy to say like, yeah, that's my person. Like, that's who I'm dating. That's my girlfriend. That's my guy. But they want your attention. But this could be someone who rejected you in the past. Okay. So maybe they want to explain to you why they rejected you or they kind of just feel like, you know, you're fighting them off. But I feel like someone is trying to fight their feelings. They're trying to resist you, but they follow everything that you do. They definitely want to be with you. Okay. So they, they could be trying to... to um. This is what I'm getting. They're trying to use like tactics to try and get your attention. And it's almost like they're observing you to see how you react to it. Okay, so um, it's like, did it work? Did they see it, this, that, and the third. So how is this person thinking about you? So they're thinking that they just need to just talk. They need to just give you the facts. They need to confess something. Let's just see. 
yeah, they need to free themselves with the full card here. They need to just let go and release and just, you know, say that they want a new beginning with you. So I'm getting that they want to start fresh or they want to be vulnerable, okay? They want to detach, yeah, the hermitess. So this is what they're thinking about. I feel like this person has gone through some, like, heavy introspection here. Okay, so they've been spending a lot of time alone. Okay, so I feel like they want to tell you the truth as to why they detached from you or why they left or, you know. And what do they want to say to you that they're currently not saying? So you have the Emperor of Wealth. Okay, so they may want to tell you that they want to be loyal to you. They want to look after you. They've come into a lot of money or they just stabilize their emotions. They're very grounded. Okay, that's what they want to say to you. They want like a serious commitment is what I'm getting. Yeah, the five of cups is at the bottom of the deck. They feel really bad and really regretful. They're really missing you. So someone is in deep regret here. Yeah, with the spiritualist. So someone kind of felt like you were their spiritual match because this is equivalent to the Hierophant. So they respect you now. They have spiritual respect for you, but they feel like they've lost you is what I'm getting with the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. So someone is like mourning you, mourning the connection. So all they do is they kind of just watch you online in secret. They're very much focused on you. Okay, so what is in their thoughts? Please clarify the fool. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So they, they basically want to apologize. Maybe they thought you were a fool and they thought you were a childish or they thought you were really naive with the fool and the child here. But they want to apologize. They want to bring you a romantic gesture or express their love. They want to be more loving and more compassionate. Okay, yeah, the death card. Something has changed here, okay? How are they feeling? Please just clarify the six of wands for how they're feeling about you. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, but you see in this card, the Knight of Pentacles has swords, which is pointing to the pentacles. So it's almost like, you know, the four swords here is representing like, you know, um, putting something to rest or meditation or thinking. So they've been thinking about giving you some kind of offer. Also, the, the swords are our thoughts, but they represent communication. So I've this has been a long time... Someone has been like sitting on something that they've been wanting to give you or wanting to prove something to you, but it's been a long time coming, but it's coming, okay? And then what do they want to say to you? The Four of Cups, yeah, okay. So like I said, this person is thinking about you. I feel like they rejected you in the past or they took your love for granted, okay? So this is what they want to explain to you. Like I don't see anyone else but you, but I'm thinking about you. Yeah, the King of Swords, someone has really been in their thoughts, I feel like someone is really sad and they don't really understand why they're sad and they're gaining some kind of clarity. But someone was cold towards you and they regret that. Yeah, the lovers is underneath. So they're in love with you. This is what they want to say to you. So they regret being cold and being stagnant, but they definitely want to talk. Okay. So. Because, yeah, you make this person feel alive. I feel like without you, this person kind of feels really detached from their emotions. So, yeah, definitely could be dealing with your opposite. No. Who is this? We're doing Aries, okay? I was thinking about Aquarius there. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I'm seeing Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo on the table. But strong Leo and Aquarian vibes, okay? And Scorpio. You know, you know, I'm watching you. You're watching me too, yeah. <laughs> And that fell right on top of the secret admirer. So exactly, this is what I'm trying to say. I feel like someone is, is they're doing little things to try and get your attention and they're trying to observe you to see if you are reacting to it. But I feel like what this person really needs to do is just message you. This is what they want to do or maybe they're trying to do it. But it's almost like someone's trying to signal you to contact them and you're just like... You stimulate my mind. I love that. Okay, so that's one thing that they like about you. Okay, and I can feel you thinking about me. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You've got this strong telep telepathic connection with this person. You can feel them. They can um, feel you. Yeah, are you even listening to me? Or so somebody wants to know, can you hear me? Like, are you, you know, that someone's trying to get your attention or they want your attention. So you're both watching each other. You know that you're both watching each other. Um, you're so beautiful. They don't make them like you no more. So that's what they want to tell you. Okay, and I'm jealous as fuck. I mean, have you seen yourself? Yeah. <laughs> so someone's thinking like, fuck, I can't believe I let all of that go. So they're very jealous. You know, they get jealous over you because you're very attractive, it seems. But yeah, they think you're beautiful. They're watching you. 
but they're just really in their feelings right now okay so they want to communicate but right now they're just feeling quite depressed okay so celebration passion loud light fire and brightness fireworks yeah so we've got the word celebration twice so i feel like someone's gonna come out of nowhere okay when they see this is how they feel as well like like it says you make me feel so alive you just you give them energy just looking at you it they just instantly feel something so i feel like you bring this person back to life so this person could be going for like i said a dark night of the soul or a really dark time but you are their happiness you are their spark yeah it says wild card at the bottom of the deck abstract unpredictable art multifaceted and museums yeah so i feel like um you're you you're not able to predict this person's emotions but i feel like they're going to reach out to you really unexpectedly okay they're just with the wild card it's almost like this person is thinking like okay i'm just gonna make my move you could be really artistic as well that's what they could be observing maybe you have like an art gallery or you put your work out there there's something that you do you're very multifaceted and they this is what they're observing they're observing your work okay but this person has a lot of passion for you so it says oh so exotic yeah so someone thinks that you're really exotic and oh so romantic so yeah somebody wants to be rom more romantic okay they, they're trying to think about something nice that they can do for you and then we have your mind yeah <laughs> so someone wants you to be there it's like period point blank and at the bottom of the deck we have um you deserve so much better so yeah somebody knows that they weren't really given to you Okay, so that's what they regret. They regret like not, you know, treating you, putting you up on a pedestal, treating you like the six of ones, giving you loads of attention. And it says, wait for me. So someone is coming back. Um, and then it says mirroring. I feel like they had to look in the mirror. I feel like you reflected this person's behavior back onto them. They didn't know how to take it. Okay, but they want you to wait. Like I was saying, I feel like this person, it's been a long time coming with the Knight of Pentacles, but they're, they're slowly coming towards you and taking action. Okay. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. My beautiful Aries, do not hesitate to comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.